Hey guys, Kevin here. Um, obviously you can see some pretty crazy differences and I'm going to try to get through them quickly because I got a lot of things I want to cover in this video. So, um, the new tires came in and on the last video I grinded the inside there down so that these rims would fit and I got them all mounted up and I think they fit the tractor pretty well for how skinny they are. Should cut through the mud really well. Um, I got a bunch of stickers on the hood. Uh, you can see on that side. And on that side, I understand that none of these products are actually on my mower. I just think that without them, the tractor looks pretty bland. And I, I like them. So, go screw yourself. Um, I took the time to drill the holes and put the hood pins in. If the camera will focus, probably not. On both sides. Um, I was tired of the nuts and bolts. Makes it a lot easier to get things off. Um, on the four with the rack, I put this little bracket right there on there which holds this in place so if you remember how floppy it was um, now that I put that on there it's good here strapped down I've got a gas can which is empty which kind of defeats the purpose but all I had was enough gas to put in the tank not enough to put in there but I will get some to put in there soon and I got my military style ammo box with my fearless front sticker you can never go without the fearless front sticker inside the box I have short chain and a ratchet strap and a screwdriver. Now, I mean a screwdriver is probably a little out of place inside with those items but what I do with the screwdriver is if I get on it I, won't, I don't want to have to walk all the way to the garage to get a screwdriver and so what I do is instead of walking all the way to the garage I can just pull that out of there and I can adjust my air to fuel mixture depending on the temperature because the motor will run differently in different temperatures so it makes it easier if I can just do that. Um, I actually found got an adhesive to uh, glue these down, but the problem with it is, is it didn't stick to the rubber. So I actually have to scrape all that nasty shit off, and I'm just gonna bolt nut them. But I don't have the bolts and nuts in here. I have them in the storage shed outside. So I'll have to do that another day. Um, but what I'm gonna do covering this video is I have these crappy little lawnmower headlights can barely see them. I'm using the record light to show you. And what I did was I went and bought some LED light bars. Bought two of these and it comes with all the wiring and everything. And it should all hook up pretty easily. So I'm going to cover is showing everybody how to hook these lights up. Um, hook these lights up and it should be pretty easy. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Um, I have the truck license plate on the back, and what happened is when my dad took one of his trucks to auction, he pulled the rear license plate off perfectly fine, and when he pulled the front one off, he pulled it off in three pieces because the bolt didn't want to come out. So what I did was I took them all, straightened them out, and zip tied them to the frame so they're all hanging there. I think it gives the mower some good character, and it kind of separates my mower from everybody else's, and I, and I like the original how it's original. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hood off and I'm going to hook all this stuff up and show you how it's done. Now what I'm going to do is I've installed the lights in the front of the hood and the wires are coming back through here. They have a recommended way you're supposed to hook it all up with all these fancy wires that they gave you. But I'm just going to use the original setup that I have here. Because I don't feel like digging through all this wire loom and digging all that organized wire so all I'm going to do is take these wires right here, alright, I'm going to take and cut a couple of these off and then reattach them directly to there so there's no problem, everything will hook right up and it should be pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I'll get back to you guys when I get it done. Now, before I close it up and shorten some wires and get it all ready to go back together, I wanted to show you what I did. So, here you have positive and negative wires coming out. The positive, I brought them both together with this fancy little wire that they give you, and I cut it shorter, and I connected it right there. You can see it. 
I taped it. I understand at this point you're probably going to be hating and thinking that I should be using a soldering iron. If it was a car, I'd use a soldering iron, but being it's just a lawnmower, I don't really care. The day my lawnmower catches on fire, I'll go buy a soldering iron. There you go. This is the ground wire I was using before, which wasn't long enough. And ended up having that in it, which brought it all the way over. Had them connected like that. And don't worry, there's two outlet or uh, um there's two rings on the end of there that were held together and wrapped the wire around it and everything. Brought it all back in and it all connects back together. Ground wire is probably fine. I'll put it back in the loom. The um the positive side is gonna need shortened, both sides are. But I'll shorten them all up. Get them all on it, or maybe I'll just wrap it around itself and tape it. You never know. Uh, maybe I might want to use that wire another day. So I'll go ahead and shorten some of those wires up, get it all put back together. Well, I finished the wiring here. You can see here's the wire loom. It comes down to the frame. Then there's the ground, and it comes back up through. Now that may not look pretty. But I didn't want to cut that wire because I didn't know if maybe I would want to stretch it out someday. Redo this wiring, maybe. So and so I didn't really want to mess with it if I was going to take it apart soon anyway. So I just stuck it all together like that for now. I mean, it's sturdy. It's it's not going to come apart. So it's just I'm just going to trail with, with it like that for now. And then when I decide to rewire it, I'll rewire it and just use all those same wires. But everything works. And I have to wire it up to my old switch here. So now it should be good. Um, I'm just finishing cleaning up here around the garage here. I'll put the hood pins back in, and then you'll get to see your before and after. Okay, so this is the before shot of how bright the lights on this tractor are. Now you can see they're on, they're bright. You stand behind it, let's say I'm sitting on it. That's about how much light you have, and it's about the distance that it goes, to be honest, when you're actually on it. So it's not bad, but they're just stock lawnmower lights. So, uh, this is the before, and here is the after. Now it's not, it's brighter than the previous lights. Quite a bit brighter, but it does look darker in here, and that is because those original lawnmower lights kind of spread the light all over the place. These lights look right in the general direction that your lights are pointing, like a flashlight. So when I'm going through the woods and I need to be able to see, these are going to help me a lot better than lights that are looking all over the place. So in general, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. They are very bright, and when I turn lights back on here they're pretty bright little lights there and in general I'm really happy with the way it turned out so in general this tractor is done the only thing that is left is tomorrow or whenever I get around to it because I'm working on the four-wheeler now I'll have to scrape all that junk off in there drill some holes and I'm gonna bolt nut them down with some flat nuts on top on both sides this one hasn't come up yet I'm sure if I stick my hand under here, it'll, you know, peel right up. So, guys, if you liked this video and would like to see more, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I, I really appreciate you dropping in and watching the video for today's Monday video. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.